Hi, I'm Caitlin, and today we're making a bacon white bean avocado salad, which is perfect for summer. Before we get started, I do have one request. If you've ever made a frugal nutrition recipe, I would love for you to visit my blog and leave a review and rating on that recipe. It actually helps a lot. All right, let's get started. This salad is super flavorful. It is creamy from the avocado and the white beans, and it's tossed with a tangy mustard dressing. From start to finish, this salad takes under 15 minutes to make, and I'm gonna give you a few tips along the way. So first things first, let's start with the onion. Mince the red onion and soak it in room temperature water for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna do that first and then set it aside. As I discussed in a previous video, this actually makes the onion much more digestible and it also does soften that sharp flavor. Next up, let's prepare the bacon. We're just using two slices of bacon here. That's really all you need to get the flavor. I recommend cooking the bacon until it's crispy because we are gonna be crumbling this up and adding it to the salad. Drain the bacon on a paper towel lined plate and wait for it to cool. Once cool, you can go ahead and chop it up with a knife. For the tomatoes, you just wanna chop them into bite-sized pieces around the same size as your white beans and I recommend using a very sharp knife or a serrated knife. This salad dressing is really easy to throw together. We're just using white vinegar, mustard, honey, olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm just putting it in this large bowl and whisking it together with a fork. For the white beans, we're just going to drain them and give them a quick rinse. When you're ready to bring the salad together, you can just add the tomatoes, the white beans, and the drained red onions all to a bowl. Add in your crumbled bacon and stir it really well to coat everything in the dressing. You can add the avocado when you're ready to serve the dish. Here's a fun tip, I don't know if you saw this, it was circulating on TikTok a while ago, but you, once you open your avocado, you can actually pop the pit out with your thumb. This is a much safer way to remove the pit of your avocado. Usually when I cut an avocado, I very carefully hold it in my hand and cut it like so in this cross hatch method. Add the avocado to the salad and mix gently to combine it. Now you don't have to serve this with any type of salad green. I personally love arugula. It is probably my favorite vegetable, so I love to serve this with some arugula, which you can just tear in your hands or you can chop up on a cutting board. If I were bringing this somewhere and I wanted to bring the arugula, I would definitely serve it separately. All right, it's time for the taste test. I'm excited, I already know that this tastes amazing. Mm. I love this. I love the richness and saltiness you get from the bacon. The white beans are nice and creamy. The avocado is nice and creamy. You get some textural contrast from the red onions and the diced up tomatoes. It's an absolute winner. If you make this dish in the summer when the avocados and tomatoes are in season, it will be much more affordable. For me, this dish costs $3.35, and if you serve it to four people as a side dish, it's about 84 cents per serving, or if you prepare this for two people as a main dish, it comes to about $1.68 per serving. Now, I am a nutritionist, and most people are probably used to nutritionists and dietitians telling you not to eat bacon, but if you want more details on why I think you can include it in your diet, check out the blog post for this recipe, which is linked below. All right, that's it. I told you this was easy. Thanks, as always, for being here. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below what you think of this recipe. and it's paired with this tangy, and it's paired with a tangy dressing, and it's paired with a tanging mu, and it's paired with a tang, <laughs> okay. When you're filming yourself, you have to be careful not to take an actual, like normal size bite.